Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Feed the Beast Legend of the Eyes. Now, in the last episode, we managed to get ourselves the Cursed Eye from the Desert Pyramid all the way over here. We, we went on quite a trip to find this thing, but we succeeded and it, the result was, well, most definitely worth it. Now, in between that and this episode, I did a few things. I went down into the dungeon right here. And, huh. and I finished off looting this branch right here, so now we're missing this branch and this... <laughs> having the TNT right there and having... No, just no, just no. I'm, not, I'm, I'm not done yet. Yeah, bring me back, please. But I, could, but I got quite a bit of loot from that, and we now have actually 24 diamonds, which I could go ahead and use on armor right away. But I don't feel like that is really necessary. I'd rather save them for other items that we might want to make down the line. So those are just being put right into our storage. Now today, I, I, I want to move out. I want to move out because there's not a whole lot of space here. I could take over more houses, but yeah, I don't really fancy playing Skyblock at the moment. So I want to move to a new place, which I might have already found uh, somewhere in this facility but but before we get to do that there's also more stuff that i want to show you but before we do that i actually want to go back into the dungeon and i want to the, these cobblestone <laughs> and i actually want to go ahead and loot some more backpack is full everything is ready so i'm just gonna go ahead and do this and i'm not gonna I'm not going to show too much of it, because we've already looted those two already, so unless something really big or really significant happens, I won't be back until this place has been looted. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll see you whenever. Alright, this seems to be the end of the looting trip, and that's actually a good thing because I am absolutely full at everywhere. Like, I can't actually put anything more into either my inventory or my backpack. So I think, yep, this branch has been fully explored. I think, except for, oh yeah, except for one path this way leading over to the tnt and i think we'll probably oh no a creeper in the tnt area is not good um i think we'll probably go there when we explore the tnt branch uh apparently i missed these two but nothing important anyway all right let's head back home let me get organized and we can get on with today's episode where's my sky village there we go we are now sitting at 35 diamonds not too bad over one and a half stacks of well one and a half stacks of iron ingots yep things are looking pretty good i even found a spare diamond sword and we're actually starting to get quite a few uh really good enchanted books that's not bad oh yeah you're probably wondering why I have so many extra golden hearts. The, not this chest plate, uh, the other chest plate that I found. This one right here, tank three, grants the user one and a half extra hearts per level. So that is 4.5 if my math is correct. Yes, four and a half extra hearts when wearing that chest plate. And apparently they don't disappear when you take the chest plate off. I think, however, if I lose them, then, I, then, then they're not going to regenerate back. So that chest plate is actually really good for maybe a boss battle or something. Definitely going to keep that in mind. Oh, wait, nope. It's regenerating. Maybe I have something else. Another horse on my chat. Nope. Huh. Well, uh, it seems that I have encountered a bug. <laughs> I'll be reporting that. But besides that, I have found, I think, the place where I want to... Uh, I, I was going to teleport while I said that, but, um, te 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 oh, that is right, I 
don't even recognize my own waypoint names anymore. Um, this place right here. I found this place. It is a very nice flat area right here. Right here, we have a room portal as well. Some other thing, interesting things nearby. But I think this is a really cool ba base location. Usually, I find a cliff or a mountain that I dig in, and then I excavate the mountain and make that my base, so I don't have to worry about any buildings or anything like that because I'm not a good builder. However, this time around, I thought I would settle in a plains area so that we can expand with machinery and things like that because I want to very, very soon get into tech of the wild here. So, in dust, what is this called? What called again? It does real revolution, create spirit and of course power i want to get into all these things and i think a very suitable area for all of those things are going to be a flat plains biome it's, it's going to be something different from for me so yes this place is going to be perfect however i now have one issue i i, I need to build a house so i'm going to be needing some materials and they are not here <laughs> well that's my well, there we go i need to sort those yeah that's a problem uh, resources are not, not, what, what about glad, glad, um, yeah, that, that's not gonna do it either. S sand? S sand? Sand? Yes, okay. Glass is not an issue. Um, the oak is, however, not at the, the wood. What about wood? 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 No, pl plank? But no, okay. Yeah, I, I need to gather some resources. This is actually a very nice feature. Look at this. I chop down the tree and ploop. <laughs> it just disappears. That's really, really nice. But yes, for this build, oh, let's check out this, by the way. Uh, this build is not going to be anything really fancy. I want to keep it simple. I'll try and decorate it and whatnot, but don't expect me to uh, <laughs> do something grand here because that is really not within my skill set. But these gold blocks, though, that I will not say no to that. What about... I, I did three MLGs in one. That That's just how good I am. Anyway, uh, anything in here? A Sota? Yes. Eh, eh, not, not really that great, to be honest. Now, I don't think I'm going to find all of the oak that I need here. Do I have a forest near? I actually don't have a forest nearby. Only over here. I really don't want to chop down the trees back home because they are a pain. And not only are they a pain, they're also dangerous to ch chop down because of the the locals that can uh, appear nearby. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a lot of them. I think I'm probably best off getting to the top of one of these. Nah, you know what? Let, let's just get chopping here. If I just get up a bit and then just get to it, I'm sure it won't take me too long to get to the point of having enough wood. All right, I am hoping that this wood is enough. Right now, I am just down here in the dungeons yet again, trying to gather some composters because, well, I want to craft them if I can get them just from here. Have I ever? Yes, I have explored that. I, I do want composters for some of the things for the build, and apparently there are things in here that are hidden. Okay, so digging this up in general might be a good idea when looting in this dungeon moving forward. Alright, I think I have most of what I need. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna hope anyway. Uh, so I think I'm I think I'm literally going to build it right here on, on top of this uh, no longer existing marker. Uh yeah, I am not sure how I'm going to do this. I have a slight idea of what I'm going to do but I don't have anything planned as such. So I'm kind of just going to wing it and see how it goes. And let us cue the first time lapse I have ever made in a very long time. Let's do this.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to call that a house completed. It, like I said, uh, you shouldn't put your expectations up too high, but I think I am pretty happy with this. I want to replace this like as soon as I can with something else, but right now I have limited uh, resources. So, yeah, this is a house. It is a 10 by 10, basically. So 10 between the pillars here, 12 including the pillars. I wanted glass because I like to be able to see out and if we're going to have farms and things running outside, I, I would say I think that is a pretty good addition. I'm not planning to do too much in the house as most things are probably going to be built either outside or using elevators right here, elevator block from uh, open block elevator mod, so we can have a basement with things and things like that. Inside, I just wanted to be hosey, hosey. <laughs> really inside, I just wanted to be cozy, furniture, like my storage and things like that. And I'm pretty sure, yep, we have this mod right here, handcrafted, which has quite a few different furniture things right here. So I will have to get into decorating, but I think this works for now. I can move my things over, oh, you, d you didn't see that. Uh, <laughs> I can move my things over like my crafting table and furnaces and even storage. I think I'm just going to plop onto one of these uh, three by three walls right here. And also outside we have of course the lanterns and the oak leaves, probably going to be replacing them with the salia at some point. Uh, again, path, I would like that to be something else. Right now I'm just running around with some bone meal, improving the place with some flowers and growing things. And also we have this right here, so we can actually have doors or hallways leading into different areas. Like I just, I just imagine right now having a, like a, a, a tunnel leading into like a greenhouse dome or something like that. That would be really cool. So we have, we have expansion possibilities if I want to branch out and make a huge windmill with create that is something that i can do but for now this is our new home i absolutely love it however we are still in need of this place just as a temporary solution for storing our things but with that done i do want to show you some things that are in the vicinity because i went out and explored a little bit and well i have found some interesting stuff if i just grab my flute There we go. And if I ride in yep, this direction towards a village I found in the savannah, which is really cool, but I found something else as well that I want to check out with you guys. So give me one second and we'll be over there in just a, a, a moment. I wanted to try and say something other that was more fancy, but that didn't go well. Yep, that is looks very interesting. I assume it's going to be another FTP dungeons. Oh, wait a minute. We have two villages. We have a floating one and we have a, a more down to earth one. And that's okay. So I can summon each time I use the flute, I summon a new horse. Okay. That's good to know. But yes, let's check out this last time we went into one of these or the first time we went into one of these, there was a spawner right at the beginning. I see a chest right there. Oh, right there. Horse. Yep. Skeleton spawner. Let's get rid of that. Yep, exactly the same thing as the other one. So we actually have another dungeon right next door. And I will actually take the mud and the clay because I think we are going to be needing that. And where was the other chest? One hiding right there. And it's not trapped. That's so, so that's good. I'll take the corn flowers and you know what? I will take a cake. I've eaten cake before, so I don't know why it says that. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to go down there just yet, because we still have the other dungeon to finish uh, looting. However, I won't mind going through this village, taking a look at what these guys has to offer. I mean, bread? Can, can I have this bread? Thank you. Much appreciated. Actually, I don't think there's going to be too much of this village. Would be interesting to be up there to see if we could potentially find some diamonds or something like that. But for now, I think I just want to grab this extra waystone. Ooh, definitely loot this extra chest. Check the map if there's anything in the area that I have missed. I don't think there is. I might continue riding a little bit more in this direction. Just to... Come on, get out of the water. Just to see if we can find something. 
Actually, I'm going to do something else. I saw a brewing stand in here somewhere, which I am going to grab. I will take a look at this though. Yeah, I get, no, can't, can't be bothered. Uh, where's that brewing stand that I saw? Not in here. Uh, actually, uh, can't, can't say no to emeralds. Those are actually really relevant to what I want to do. Come on, where is it? I just saw it. Hey, horse number two. Actually, you're the second horse. The other one is the third horse. I just saw it. Aha, that is. Found it. I might already have one, but I want to get this because in here, to get the... Wait, where is it? I, I just saw it. Where is it? Aha, this right here. Blazing Geode. The burning geode can be purchased from tier 5 clerics, and the job site for the cleric is the brewing stand. I would love to try and get this. Um, find another fortress, use a geode on a blaze spawner. In the nether fortress, says using the blazing geode on a blaze spawner will summon the blaze guardian, a powerful boss. Oh, lovely. Kill the blaze guardian and get the evil eye. Okay, well, we want to locate an igloo. Oh, that should be easy. That should be easy with this. Hold on. Hold on. I want to, I want to see. Uh, snowy plains. I'm pretty sure it's the one. Ow. Oh. 5,000 5, blocks away. Okay, yeah, that's the <laughs> that's not going to be today, because that is a very... That, that's a long way away. Yeah, that's... um, Wow, 6,000 blocks away from here. Yeah, that's going to be in a bit. Now, what I would love to start getting into is power, because if I want to get into... Uh, not so not so much create, but this uh, industrial revolution. I'm going to be needing power and stop clicking that. I want to ge start generating power just so I have it when I actually need it. That's, however, going to be requiring some crafting, like the energy cell basic, which is what is going to s store the power. Some energy cables, which are also going to be requiring this stuff here. And then I'm thinking of different ways that we can actually generate power. So if we go into quests here, first of all, we need to get this, but then uh, solar panels, we have solar panels, we have a reactor, not gonna happen. Uh, this right here generates energy when placed above a heat source, that's a possibility. Generates energy by burning lava, and furnace, uh, furnitures generate energy by burning furnace fuels. So it's really either this thing right here, the thermal generator, or solar panels. And I don't know which are going to be easiest to make. I think these are actually. So we need dielectric paste and basic capacitors, dielectric casing. And for that, we also need dielectric rods. And I think that is pretty much the main things that we need to get started with this. So let's take a look here. Dielectric paste. Yes, this is why I wanted a bunch of clay uh, and also the blaze powder. So let's make like a stack of this I think should be good maybe we also need some iron bars which I do need to be careful of the iron I don't have too much of it and I'm also going then to be needing some rods so I can actually add the stuff right here making the crafting a little bit easier so 16 like that and then also 16 of these and let's take a look here so uh, energy cell starter. We could also bump it up to basic. Oh, we need quite a few of these actually. Oh dear me. Okay, let's start by making a few basic capacitors. Uh, blocks of redstone. I can most definitely. Oh, okay. Th there we go. <laughs> Just a little bit of lag there. Uh, so basic and capacitor. Let's see. How many do we make of these? Uh, 24. I think that's actually probably too many, to be completely honest with you. But there we go. Energy cables. I think that should be enough for now. Uh, dielectric casing, like so. However, is there... Yeah, I can't make a hard one right now. An energy cell basic is the most basic one I can make right now. It can store 4 million FE, so I think <laughs> we should be good for now. Uh, so solar panels, we're going to be needing this, and that's pretty much it, actually. One, two, three. What did I need? Ah, glass panes. All right, that is three. I would love to craft eight of these if possible. 
that would require less two. Yeah, that is going to require a lot of this, which I don't know if I have enough of, well, honestly, the coal. But let's see here. So this is three, another nine, that's six, and then th two more. One, two. Okay, perfect. Then I need eight of these. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, I accidentally made nine. I think we'll be all right though. So one, two, oh, they can't stack. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What, eight? Oh yes, eight, perfect. Everything's perfect, okay, nice. So if we go back home, do I have any oak stuff? No, not really, all right, that's fine. Let's go home, and then I think, I'm not gonna place this on the roof. Rather, I'm going to set up a little bit of a box right here, I think, right here, and I'm going to put the energy cell basic right in the center. Then, have these energy cables surrounding it like so. And then have the solar panels, I think, like that. Now, these are starter. They're not going to produce a whole lot of FE. But still, just having these sitting here, it's free power. It's actually free power. Can't complain too much about that. Oh, what do we have here? Power manual and the wrench. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's very nice. That's a very, very nice reward right there. Awesome. And yes, of course, we can go ahead and do energizing rods and whatnot, which we will have to do eventually. But I mean, look at that. We already have 100,000 FE. I like that. That's not too bad. And that can just sit there and keep working. All right, I am back at the Savannah Village. And I want to see who is going to pick up this brewing stand as a job. Oh, you are. You want to be the cleric? There we go. So run flesh for emeralds. Okay, I'll see what I can do. And emeralds for redstone, which could, could be worse, actually. Could be a lot worse. I mean, considering I have 290 run flesh, I'll take that offer. <laughs> I'll definitely take that offer. I just want to see how difficult it's going to be to get him to level 5. I know it's not going to... Ooh, that's dangerous. I know it's not going to be easy, but... Might as well try. Alright. So I think you'll advance to level 2. Apprentice. Gold for emeralds. Emeralds for lapis lazuli. I mean, I might as well go ahead and trade this as much as I can. Oh, that's not... That doesn't give a whole lot. Let me see how much gold I would need to do, because front flesh... I feel like front flesh is easier to get access to. <laughs> okay, 40 gold. And I have no idea how my Minecraft and machine is lacking me sipping back and forth here. Alright, gold. Okay, yeah, that's a lot more experience right there. I'll take it. Could you guys quiet down with the doors? Okay, level 3. Level 3. Okay, that's a pretty decent. I do have Rapid's foot. Do I actually have... Hold on. We're making progress here. We're making progress. I have 9 Rapid's foot. Um, and other than brewing and trading, they're not really useful for anything. It doesn't seem like it anyway. So I might as well trade them in if I can get more for it. You're not my cleric. Where's my cleric? Cleric, you're not done yet. Get over here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a lot more. I'm willing to trade that. Because they seem fairly f like they're easy to get access to in those dungeons. Expert. Um, I might do this for the glowstone. Actually, ender pearls. Seems more like a good trade. I know I'm using a lot of ender pearls here, but it's all for a good cause. Master. Yes, blazing. Oh no, <laughs> blaze burner and blazing geode. Okay, we got it though. Can, can you like, can you like, be safe, please? Um, where did I get? I don't know where I got that from. Okay, I'm gonna teleport out of here so they don't die, and 
that was really worth it. Blazing. Wasn't that what it, what it was called? Uh, but, but, bla blaze. There we go. Blaze burner. MC blaze burner. That should be easy enough to get, right? MC blaze burner. Nether rack. Iron sheet. How, how do I get iron sheet? Like this, apparently. With a hammer from industrial. Re right. <laughs> Give me a second. And there we go, hammer. However, I'm still waiting for these uh, iron ingots to smelt. So guys, I think I'm actually going to call this an episode right here. I know we didn't do too much progress, but we now have a house. We are officially generating power. We have a, a new home that we can actually call home. And I will, of course, have to be working on furniture and things like that. Those things might be something that I do in live streams. So if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe and enable those notifications and join my Discord server as well so you don't miss those streams if I do them. But yeah, really good progress. In the next episode, I am hoping to be able to make this. I think we'll head to the nether and see if we can find a fortress and take it from there. Because if we could... I don't know if I'm ready to fight a boss yet, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what tomorrow brings. But first I'm going to sleep, so not this tomorrow, but an another tomorrow. Right, really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, goodbye. Stop.